Why does the moon shine? The moon shines because it reflects sunlight. Unlike the sun, the moon produces no light of its own. Its surface, covered in dust and rocks, reflects about 12% of the sunlight that hits it. This reflected light travels to Earth, making the moon visible in the night sky. The moon's brightness varies based on its phase, which depends on its position relative to the Earth and Sun. A full moon appears brightest because the entire side facing Earth is lit. Hmm. Why does Jupiter flicker? Firstly, the Earth's atmosphere acts like a lens, with different air pockets causing light to bend and distort, resulting in the flickering effect. Secondly, when Jupiter is closer to the horizon, its light travels through a thicker layer of atmosphere, leading to more pronounced flickering. Hmm. Lastly, planets like Jupiter appear as disks rather than points of light, which means the flickering effect is less noticeable compared to stars. Hmm. Huh? Why does Jupiter have so many moons? Firstly, Jupiter's moons are remnants of the gas and dust disk that surrounded the planet after it formed. As Jupiter has a strong gravitational pull, it captured most of the material from the disk into its orbit. Hmm. Secondly, Jupiter is far enough away from the Sun that it's not affected by the Sun's gravitational pull. Hence, it is saved from the Sun's lunar theft. If Jupiter were closer to the Sun, huh? it would likely have very few moons. Hmm. Huh? Why does Saturn have rings? Saturn's strong gravity plays a key role. When asteroids, comets, or even moons ventured too close, the immense gravitational forces tore them apart. The debris from these shattered objects, as in chunks of ice and rock, continued to collide and break into smaller fragments. Over time, this material spread out and formed the stunning rings we see today. A delicate balance of destruction and beauty orbiting the planet. Hmm. Huh? Why is Jupiter so bright? Firstly, Jupiter appears brighter when it's in opposition. During opposition, the Sun and Jupiter are on opposite sides of Earth, with Jupiter rising in the east as the Sun sets in the west. Mm. Secondly, Jupiter is covered in clouds made of methane and ammonia crystals, which reflect the Sun's light very efficiently. Lastly, Jupiter's magnetic field accelerates particles and funnels them towards the planet's poles, where they collide with the atmosphere and release energy in the form of light. Mm. Huh? Why is Venus called the morning star or evening star? When seen from Earth, Venus is the third brightest natural object in the sky after the Sun and the Moon. Ancient civilizations noticed that Venus was a regular feature either just huh? before dawn or just after dusk. Because of its striking visibility during these times, they associated it with the idea of a star heralding the arrival of the sun or accompanying its departure. Although Venus is a planet, its behavior and brightness earned it the nickname of a morning star or evening star in many cultures. Hmm. Why is Venus so bright? The first reason is the Venus's proximity to the Sun. It averages only about 110 million kilometers away from the Sun. Secondly, Venus is blanketed by highly reflective clouds. The clouds in the atmosphere of Venus contain droplets of sulfuric acid, as well as acidic crystals suspended in a mixture of gases. Light bounces easily off the smooth surfaces of these spheres and crystals. Sunlight bouncing from these clouds is a big part of why Venus is so bright. <laughs> why are some planets called terrestrial? 
The word terrestrial comes from the Latin word terra, which means Earth. Terrestrial planets are made of rocks and metals and have a central metallic core surrounded by a mantle of silicate rocks and minerals. The mantle is usually the largest part of the planet by volume. Terrestrial planets also have landforms like cliffs, valleys, volcanoes, and craters. The four terrestrial planets in our solar system are the four innermost planets. Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars.